Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people all over the motherfucking world. My name is Novai Davar, and welcome to episode four for the Mindset Podcast. Yeah. Okay, no fucking around, because in all honesty, I could have done this episode on a Thursday note. But I was sick. Had the little sniffles. But then... I knew that the draft was still going on Friday and Monday. So anything else is just... Okay, let me just wait till the draft comes out. And then once it's over, just do the podcast. So if anything, we just try to do our best to just get this thing going. Oh, shit. The neighbors is out here playing music like a motherfucker right now. Well, shit. So, anyways. Again, I felt better. Monday kicks in. Draft is going. It ended. And I was like, you know what? Let me just wait till Tuesday. When Tuesday hit. <sighs> when Tuesday hit. Just know I was having a bad day. But who gives a fuck about that? Um, once I decided to go out, do my thing, hang out with some few friends, boom, I went on my phone and (laughs) next thing you know, I'm starting seeing people like posting up saying, Kendrick Lamar finally responded. And I'm like, fuck it. Whatever music was going on that bar, I turned that shit off, play Kendrick's diss track, put that shit on blast. People were fucking confused and all that shit. The only people that actually was actually trying to listen to it was me and a couple of my friends. I said, yeah, it's that time again. Shut the fuck up. Sit the fuck down. If you don't like it, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we were playing that shit. Only one time and I let all these fucking randoms and fucking hair go play a fucking other song. Because that's how I do sometimes. I don't know. But listen, this is hip hop. This is the culture. When shit goes down, I'm the one who's gonna pull up out of nowhere and be like, well, shit. And then yesterday, I was gonna do another, well, I was gonna do this episode of the podcast, I mean. But I was like, let it die down. Let's have a breather. Even though I was listening to Euphoria the whole fucking day. And then I started watching Joe's Budden's podcast about it, seeing everybody react about it, going on Instagram, because basically this is the only source he actually could find besides um, Genius. And um, yeah, I was trying to figure out what's going on left and right. Because again, when it comes to beef, there's certain little details that now... People are scratching their heads, and then they had to do their own research, and that's what I did. A whole lot of crazy shit said. Some of them was pretty obvious. Some of them is like, oh, so there's some new tea brewing. So, yeah. So, I guess before we talk about the whole Kendrick's um, response, um, I guess we might as well cover this. What happened, and by the way, this is not April anymore. This is May 2, May the 2nd, and this is the fourth episode. So, yeah, let's have fun with this shit. Um, but yeah, so again, this was supposed to be last week, got sick, and I was still John down. Hell, I'm still John down right now, too. Um, but anyways, I guess I might as well. Well, just report the things that I have right now because, come on, I know I do a whole lot of segments, anime, wrestling, all that, and new artists and everything that I've been trying to work, but this is not the episode no more. Because I was going to call it the draft, now it's just the nuke. I think that's what I'm going to call it, the nuke. Because a nuke has been dropped. Damn. 
I'm fucking stupid right now. Um, so yeah, watch the last episode of BMF, and then I think this week is the last episode. I'm not sure. All I know, I didn't like it. Not even the sex scenes could even rebound it, even though that wasn't my intention. But still, I don't know. Whoever is doing the production of BMF needs to be fired. That's it. And whoever is writing these fucking lines, they need to be fired. Any choreographed shit needs to be fired. I'm sorry, it's garbage. That episode was fucking garbage. But again, I still respect the idea and the TV shit, but still, I didn't like the episode. I wish they could do a lot more better. That's why. I, that's the only thing I want. It's just, I wish it could have done better. That's it. Out of respect. And then, what else? Uh, I was going to do an April recap, but again, hands were full. Been pretty busy. Um, I didn't drop any album because of that. And also the fact I was more focused on this podcast than anything. So to me, I was just... Just letting it flow right now. Am I dropping an album this month? Hmm. I'm not trying to give you all the full details. So anyways, yeah. Uh, BMF episode was terrible. Hope this one is better. But again, I'm not sure this is the last episode or not. It's hard to pay attention to it now. Um. Yeah, again, if... You don't see me doing this. I'm doing a whole lot more. You can still check out all my projects from YouTube, TikTok, X. I'm still working on it. SoundCloud, I'm still working on it. Again, um, my older single that I dropped on YouTube and yeah, and SoundCloud is now going to Spotify in the middle of May. So I'll send you that link once it's dropped. Um, so yeah. So anyways, um So again, we're going to talk about the Kendrick thing, but let's talk about other hip hop stuff like Eminem just did a trailer for his new album which is coming around either June or around the summer, which is actually called The Death of Simpson Shady, The Coup de Gras. And um 50 Cent was there, he was helping a little bit, he even posted up on Instagram, and yeah, it was a funny trailer, it was a pretty dope trailer, and I honestly will say that um, this one has a little bit of him just making music, like he's just genuinely making rap music, like if there's anything else in his mind, then I don't know, hey, I'm just a guy. I'm not in his team or around his team. I'm not saying that I'm affiliated with some of his people. Just know that me, as an Eminem fan, I feel like it's a genuine rap album. And I can't wait. Because music to be murdered by, music to be murdered by, um, was actually was pretty dope too. Side of A and B. And um, what else? Quavo did respond to Chris Brown. He did the whole using Takeoff's verse or hook. I completely forgot. Like, listen, it's been a long two days. Yep. Um, I did listen to some few albums um, that just dropped, which was uh, Party Next Door, his new album. I consider that shit as a fire-ass album. And um, even though I do hip hop, again, Latin, Latino, I also got to show love to reggaeton artists and reggaeton albums. And one album that popped up out of nowhere was We Seen, a veteran reggaeton. Shout outs to him. Yeah. Um, his album, Mr. W, um, pretty dope. W. Um, that was dope. And... A Boogie with a Hoodie, Alone EP, that was a cold EP, that was cold, 
So that one's actually pretty dope. Um, and again, there was Kendrick's single, Euphoria. Shit. I'm going to keep bringing his name up and the fucking song, I think, throughout the whole podcast. So, yeah, this is going to be nothing but Kendrick and his song. So, yeah. Um, There's nothing for anime. I haven't even caught up still with the One Piece manga or the anime. Like, I'm already up to date, but I'm like, again, I just hold it way through a marathon to have it. But I really don't have time. Except for today and tomorrow. So, if anything, I will cover it the next episode. So, yeah. Um, ring out. The ring out segment. It's when all the wrestling comes in one little podcast segment. Who doesn't like sweaty, meaty men half naked? Yo. Okay, I'm stupid. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. Um, like I said. Um, I think before I talk about the WD company that what's going on right now, I think we must talk about AEW because last week uh, everything was pretty dope. I was trying to pay attention the best I can, and um, at the end we just seen the delete, the elite, the elite, not delete. You know, just. You know, I might as well say some words slowly or sometimes fast, but I hope you catch up or pay attention. If not, I'm sorry. Just keep the flow going. Um, so, yeah, the elite decided to attack Tony Khan. Tony Khan had a neck brace. He went to the NFL draft, moving his fucking head left and right. A lot of marks want to bash on it. A lot of people make fun of it. Even... Um, Pat McAfee uh, made fun of it too, but for me, I'm just, eh, it's Tony Kong. I really don't give a shit. Yeah. Mm, but yeah, he got his ass speed. Um, and again, this is May 2nd. AEW was on May 1st. I still haven't watched it. All I know is that Kenny Omega is back. Kenny Omega is back. I'm sorry. And, um,. Yeah, I haven't seen anything yet. So, if anything, I'm sorry for not covering it. It is what it is. You know, I got a whole lot of stuff going on. So, again, it is the first and last time I'm going to apologize. I know what I'm doing. I'm trying my best to do the best I can. So, yeah. And anyway, a whole lot of stuff is going on outside of my box that... I need to catch up, so, yeah. Um, anyways, so back to WWE. The draft happened. I got a whole list from Raw's people and SmackDown people. Um, I know I have the pictures of the champions who are protected, but I guess we all know who are the champions right now, right? Like, if not, then the people who are champions are protected from the draft was... Bailey, Cody, Becky, Damian, A Town Down Under, and The Awesome Truth. And uh, Logan Paul and Sami Zayn. So, yeah. So, anyways, uh, we all know that now that Roman Reigns withdrew the draft. So, now we basically low key are now knowing that Roman isn't coming back for very, very while. Like, like, it's not too soon, but it's going to be... I'm hoping for a SummerSlam. I'm not... That's what I'm hoping for. If not, Survivor Series, because he did came back again during the whole COVID um, era and shit. So, yeah. So, let me just tell you the people from, I guess, SmackDown, since that's the first people that are... Uh, well, I mean, the first brand that, uh, that started this. So, I'm going to do... The night of SmackDown first, then the the second night of SmackDown that they pick, and then we go to Raw for the first night they pick, and that day when they started Raw on the second half. So yeah, so for SmackDown is Bianca Belair, which was the first one, Carmella Hayes. Round of applause for Carmella Hayes. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Randy Orton, Nia Jax. Now that's a shocking part. LA Knight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. Fuck. Wrong button. Um, the Bloodline, which is Solo, Paul, and my boy, Tamataga. Yeah. 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 You nasty. Yeah. Um, then AJ Styles, Andrade, and then for Raw on the first night was Jay Uso. Yeah. Yeet, 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 yeet. Oh, damn it, another fucking wrong button. Um, Seth Rollins, Braun Breaker, Liv Morgan, Ricochet. Every single time when, when I hear Ricochet, I hear Mucha Lucha in my head. Mucha Lucha, Mucha Lucha. Okay, enough. Um, Seamus, Alpha Academy. And Kiana James, who I don't know who the fuck is that. But I hope to see more of her on Raw. And then the second night, Monday Night Raw. So for the SmackDown, they pick Jake Cargill. Yeah. Kevin Owens. The voice of the voiceless, CM Punk. And the return of Braun Strowman. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. LWO with Carlito, which is crazy. Um, Drew McIntyre, The Judgment Day, my boy Dragunov. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the New Day, um, Valkyria, the Final Testament, which is actually was pretty dope, and that big booty bitch, uh, <laughs> Bronson Reed, and then for Raw, Imperium, Damage Control, The Pride, which is Bobby Lashley, The Street Profits, and BFAB. Please, I hope I got that name right. Um, Tiffany Stratton, which again, awesome heel right now. Um, Legado de la Fantasma. Shinsuke Nakamura, Naomi, Chelsea and Piper, Pretty Deadly, Kenneth and Indy, DIY, and the great Blair Davenport. Now that... That was pretty dope. That was awesome. Yeah. 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 Damn right. Um, so yeah. That one was actually the best. So we first started with Bianca, and the very last, it was Blair Davenport. Ugh. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, so yeah. That's all I wrote. And again, um, I didn't watch last night's AEW. I will watch it um, today. And um, I guess I need to set up all my shit that happened on draft to my WWE 2K24 game. Which, by the way, by now. Uh, I swear, fucking WWE really needs to fucking sponsor me. That's one. Two, um, just like I said the last episode... If you're really into the real life and put in the game, you might as well do it just for the um, joy of the game, really. So, yeah, I'm going to do that just for fun. I don't know what other people will do. People are on crack on that fucking game. But for me, I just try to genuinely enjoy it on my time, even though I'm playing the this game that I'm playing, which is called Digimon Order. No, Digimon World, the next order. Listen, I'm I'm doing this shit live, motherfucker. Not really, but live on the microphone. One take only. No bullshit. No edit. It is uncut, uncensored. If you don't like it, then... 
right there. If you don't understand that, then I got a song for you. My balls. My balls. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so yeah. Um. So I guess we're done with this little segment. And I'm sorry for the new artists. We're not going to have this segment. It's about Kendrick. I may do another um, episode tomorrow. Maybe I want to. But let's see what's going to happen tomorrow, though. Um, anyways. Fucking Kendrick. You piece of shit. You son of a bitch. You four, seven, seven size shoes. Stupid motherfucker. And as a matter of fact, hold on. Now I remember. I know I'm insulting Kendrick but really I do respect him same goes to Drake even though I just did some shady shit last night about him um Patrick Mahomes you stupid fuck you piece of shit you want to be heel ass motherfucker and honestly I do know that you're just being a heel because of Logan Paul and you hanged out with him right next to I show speed on raw but you piece of shit suck my dick I don't hate you like a full player. I just hate you being around ringside. I I don't know. And anyway, you didn't even win the Super Bowl. It was Taylor Swift that won the Super Bowl. So suck my dick on that bullshit. Stop the cap. As a matter of fact. Stop the cap. What? Stop the cap. What? Stop the cap. What? Stop the cap. What? Stop the cap. Yeah. Um. So yeah. I guess that's the only little hate. But I really don't want to hate Patrick Mahomes. I just... Uh, the hype isn't isn't well. It's not cooked right. It's a little bit uh nasty. Um. Anyways. Uh. Yeah. So Kendrick, you motherfucker, you said some shit that went over my head, hit me in my face. I'm like, bro, bro. If I was Drake, I would shut the fuck up right now. But then again, which is funny though too. Um, I know people won't believe me. People are going to think I'm crazy or some shit, but I really don't give a fuck. This came on my perspective, on my real lifetime. So whoever fucking don't believe it, I don't give a shit. So when Euphoria hit, it was the whole day. I listened to it like I... Possibly will say either around 6 o'clock in the afternoon or around 7. Then I went home, decided to take a breather, keep listening to Euphoria because the beat was crazy. The three switches, whoo. At first, when I listened to it, the first verse, I kind of got a little bit off about that. But then again, I was in public. But then when I got home, now I was like, okay, now I get it. Uh, So... Yeah. Uh, wait, where the fuck I was going at? <laughs> um, so anyways. Yes. First verse. Didn't felt it until later. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now I remember. Now I remember. I'm stupid. Um, so yeah. So, I was used to it. Then it was like around 10 o'clock-ish. I literally tagged Drake in my story. His face. With the Euphoria song. With the whole ad-libs. Which, by the way, I'm kind of pissed about one thing. But I'll probably we'll talk about that shit later. Um, I tagged Drake saying, what now? Five minutes later, he posts up something in his story. Which everybody probably already saw. Talking about this little video clip from a movie and shit. Probably from the bitch from Spider-Man. The Mary Jane one. From Tobey Maguire, I believe. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't... When I was a kid, I only really watch movies like that until I got older. And yet, some of the old movies, I don't even want to watch at all. Some of them was like, it's a feel-good movie or something else. Or I just go back watching what I used to watch when I was a kid. But that's not the fucking point. The point is that when I tagged him a few minutes later, he posted up that shit almost at the end of the day. So to me, it's coincidence I'm not saying he saw my story or anything. I don't even know. I just go on my social media, boom, and then go on my day. Go on my time. Do my shit. That's it. You see, you you might think I might be there often, but really I don't. 
So to me, I feel like that was coincidence. And again, which I did yesterday, I did some shady shit, which you're not going to find this. I said what I said. And for me as an artist, I know for a fact that if you hear somebody else using your flow, using your style, using this and that, yes, you will say something. Me, I don't take it fully personal, but I'll take a little hint of it. And I was like, oh, I'll just play along. That's it. So if you guys going to ask me if I'm taking this serious, listen, it's not even that serious to me even fucking go on some ape shit right now. And what I'm saying is that I'm not going to diss Drake. I just say some shit and I'm let it be like that. And whether you guys think I'm being crazy or being stupid, just know that I really don't give a fuck about how you guys think about what I say. What I said is what I say, and what I say goes. And that's it. No hate. Just, hmm, a little bit of acknowledgement won't hurt. But that's on only on my shit, and I'm saying to you guys, literally, right here, and I'm still going to drop this um, podcast, because really, there's nothing happening. So, and don't get me wrong, there's other main artists that use my flow, but at least they showed a little bit of acknowledgement. A little shout out. But still. Like, really, do not get this twisted. Don't look at all my views in all plays and saying, oh, he's still in the bottom. No. 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 There's reason why is there solo. And that's my fault. That's it. But don't let all this internet bullshit play you. Okay? I know what I'm doing. I just let it be. Let it rock. Let it go with the flow. And if I decide whether I want to blow up or not, that is my choice. But, yeah, that's one part. So, going back to Kendrick. So, yeah, Euphoria hit. Everybody know about the first verse. It was pretty poetic. And then when you hit that line... Don't tell lies about me, and I won't tell truth about you. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> Goosebumps. Um, <laughs> so anyways, um, damn, I wish I could write all the lyrics, but he says some crazy shit in a second, and... What Joe Budden said, I'm also saying it. And by the way, I speak for myself. I'm not speaking what another person said, okay? So, Joe Budden knows it. Even I know it. He's a rapper. He's an artist. I'm a rapper. I'm a singer. I'm a producer. I'm all over this bitch. We both know what he did. These are chess moves that is going on right now. So if I'm going to talk to you in a fan perspective or artist perspective, it could be both ways. But this one, this one was sure wilding. But also the ad libs, the shoo, and that beat, 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 beat. Hey yo, I ain't gonna lie, that motherfucker was speaking Pikachu to me. I was like, damn. <laughs> but anyways. I wish I could play it, but I'm getting feeling like I'm gonna get copyrighted and shit. Uh, because just like Drake, um, which is dope too. Like I just started to notice that, um, like I know, like in the modern day, people already got their Spotify, their Apple Music, their Amazon Music, SoundCloud, whatever they find a way to have a music platform and stuff, and just listen to the music. Um. Honestly, I salute to both Drake and Kendrick for just at least dropping on the internet and let the whole world hear it. And before it went to Spotify, because mind you, Drake's leak, um, al- not album, I'm fucking the diss track to Kendrick, it had a whole different beat to it. Not a different beat to it, but I, I don't know. I guess the leak, the leak version of the Drake song, I completely forgot it once he dropped to um Spotify. The beat change, yes. The lyrics change, yes. So for that, 
Yeah, so so now it's a whole difference. Uh, for Kendrick, he drop it the way it is, and then the next day it's on Spotify, which is a pretty good um strategic move, on their both on their both behalves. And then you know, Kendrick mentioned about um, Tupac's ring, which Drake now owns. He said, "I'm a double that wage," meaning he don't want that ring in that fucking hand of his. He wants that shit on his finger. On Kendrick's finger. If you didn't understand, I'm saying that Kendrick wants to double the ring so he could have it and not Drake. That's it. Let me double down for you. Um, Then he said a whole lot of crazy shit, which I will not say as much. Like, let you guys keep listening to it and then you guys be the judge of it. We already know the whole dilemma with Drake, left and right, no matter what. We always, like, some people will always going to bring it up, and yet Drake never um, respond or address the whole situation. To me, I'll just let it be. I really don't, I say, I, I don't want to say I don't really don't care. I'm just saying that, um, that. In, I'm not saying it's pretty complicated to what I'm trying to say, but yeah, it just it is pretty it's pretty dangerous outside now. It's pretty dangerous outside now. I said it's pretty dangerous outside now. Yeah. Um. Then the third verse. Well, up. Uh, well, he still disrespected on um, J Cole. After the seven minute drill, which I find that humorous. I've been seeing, I've seen a whole lot of reactions. As a matter of fact, there was one that, um, you know, if I could go here on my Instagram real quick, because I did post up uh, a story, and it still is going to be a topic above, above Kendrick and, and Drake. So give me one second, real quick, guys. Uh, let me just set it up. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. So it's right there. I hope it loads. Oh yeah, um if you guys haven't heard or known this, the part where it goes reverse, it came from Richard Pryor from the movie The Wiz. So that's pretty dope. Um here's this. I'm Miss Troll, I'm a phony. Uh oh. Yeah, so that came from Richard Pryor's scene. Um, and then this is the one from RDC World. They always do all this funny shit, especially when it comes to hip-hop. Shout-outs to them. Nothing but love. Um, and I saw them watching from the very beginning, so much love. So this is what they did. <laughs> Photo dump. I don't get them going, for real. What? What's that? What is that? That's the only way, bro. Come on, put that away, Brody. We don't need that. That nigga, 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 that uh, I wasn't trying to go to the next uh, story post that I did. So, again, if you're going to be in tune to all this, um, come to my radar. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I'll try my best. Um, so, yeah. Anything else is that... Um, okay, so the intro, Richard Pryor saying it in backwards. Little poetic in the first. Second switch. Boom. Another hit from the leg. Then third, boom, around your shoulders. So right now, we all outside, and we're going to see a fight. We're going to see a fight. We're going to see a fight, bruh. We're going to see a fight, Crody. A fight, Crody. It's a Crody versus the Vato. Okay, I'm just straight talking shit right now. But... Damn, I wish I actually had time to write notes. But this is what I'm going to say at the moment. And probably some shit I might regret. Maybe not. I don't know. Sometimes, 
You know what? No, I ain't gonna back paddle. No, I want to smoke too. The smoke, the fire, el fuego. Stop the cap. No, I'm stupid. Uh, holy shit, I did this in less than 40 minutes. Fuck you, Kendrick. You made me talk my shit, man. See, this that's also woken me up, too. Because as a fan, I love it. I did. And I also love Drake's um, maneuver and his disses, too. Even though he got assists and assists from Tupac's estate. Tupac! Machiavelli the Dome. Yeah. Um... Wait, uh, oh, wait, uh, my phone's charged. I'm not even going to fucking go and get it. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, and Snoop Dogg actually co-signed for the AI shit. I didn't hear it. I just read in a little article headline and shit, and I was going to watch it. But if anything, I got resources. Anyway, the resources itself is in public, so if you want to... If you're a hip hop fan, try your best. If not, and you try and like get resources, I'll send you a link. But it's pretty obvious of where I'm finding it at. So if it's obvious for me, it's obvious for the people. So, but yeah, if you try and get the full full detail or like specific details, I got you. Um, <laughs> damn, I feel like a whole lot. I look like. Damn, I feel like a goddamn instigator sometimes. Or is it instigating? Is this instigating? Nah. Hopefully not. I'm not even instigating as shit. If I was in the mainstream, I would have whispered both of each other and be like, Kendrick say fuck you. Hey, Drake. Kendrick say fuck you. And then go to Kendrick. Drake said go suck a dick. Huh? Kendrick said go suck a dick. I'm stupid. Um, But yeah. Damn, I really... Well... And what else? Oh, yeah, that last part. Mm, see, I wish I could play this for you guys, but I can't. Kendrick, please give me the license, right, so I could play this. Like, I know a whole lot of um people react to it, and then, like, reaction videos and stuff. A whole lot of internet rappers, underground rappers, they actually are doing this shit. Um, what else? Uh, I think after all, listen, all I can say is, uh, since people want to use this, oh, you got like two weeks. Oh, you got to, no, stop that. Like what Kendrick did, like, and also same thing too, which is weird. Cause the same thing you guys did with Kendrick is what you did for M. When MGK dropped Rap Devil, people want, um, M and M to fucking make a diss track like the next second. It took him two weeks just to respond, and it was crazy. It was on the day of Tupac's death. And then Kendrick, another two weeks, and it was crazy. Um, I had more resources about that, and again, th- that line, that line itself, it's it, it tells you, and then the more that line has been dissected, the more you're looking at sideways, and now you're looking at Drake, and I'm like, yeah, you really need to address what the fuck just happened. Like, this is not just hip hop anymore. He's seen some shit that's affecting in real life. Might affect your career. And he even said it too. Let's keep it a friendly fade. So if I was you, like he said on the one line, you better hide your face like a death punk. Around the world, around the world, around the world, around and where Okay, when the fuck that sound like techno all the way to hip Billy shit. Um, but yeah, it's a whole lot of crazy shits happening. It's scrap up season. And to me, I probably declare this as an aftermath summer. Cause again, Kendrick is an aftermath. No wait. Is he still? Shit. I know he's in a different independent thing, and I know he's in a different major label now. Um, yeah, and 
But anyways, it's still it's still an aftermath family. Kendrick just having a beef with Drake. Eminem is dropping um his new album, The Death of Some Shady. Fifty Cent, his um next project, Book Two, Ghost, the final season is dropping this summer too. And Dr. Dre is with Eminem with the album too. So come on. This is the aftermath summer. This is fucking 2004 all over again, adding Kendrick to the mix. Why not? This is dope. This is crazy. But again, Drake, if I was you, get this, keep this as a friendly fade. And I swear to God, if you use any of my fucking shit in this fucking episode and I hear it, I'm going to give you a sister and cease. And I'll put my balls in your face. Ball goggles. Huh? Oh, yeah. Um. So, anyways, I think this is my topic. I think I just talked my shit crazy. I think this is far beyond crazy. And, again, I really don't care what anybody going to say about this episode. I had my fun. I took a little bit of energy out. I guess it's actually demon time. So, yeah. So, in the meantime, enjoy your day. If you felt sick like I was, I hope you feel better. I hope you get the medicine that you guys need. If you do need it, if not, go get some chicken soup. You know, mama's recipe. You know, we all love our mama. And by the way, this is May. Mother's Day is coming soon. Give something nice to your mama. Your mama. Your mama's so fat. No, okay, I'm gonna stop. But um, but yeah. So enjoy this day like it's your last. Hope you enjoy your weekend. Hope I'll make another episode tomorrow. I see. I like this one. I like this episode too. But again, I'll see you guys very very soon. Again, be well. Be happy. Enjoy life. Enjoy the people around you that makes you smile. And stay tuned. Oh, you nasty. Yeah.